Let's go over problem type three on expanding a logarithmic expression. So um, I see a big picture, and the big picture is everything is getting raised to the one half power because it's square root. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to rewrite this. Um, so instead of log of everything under square root, I can say, you know, I think I'll try to write it over here so that I save some room. Okay. This is the same thing as log um, x plus 6 to the third power over x to the fifth, all getting raised to the one half power. Because taking square root of something is same as raising that radicand to the one half power. So that's something that you needed to note. Okay? All right. So after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this exponent of one half. Okay, I'm going to multiply this exponent of one half to the exponent on top and exponent in the bottom. Okay, so when I do that, I will get this. I will get log. The numerator is x plus 6, 3 over 2. Okay because I did three times one half, three times half got me three half. And that all over x raised to the, now look, when I multiply five times one half, that gets me five half, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate the top and the bottom of this log expression as log base, well, the base is 10, so we don't have to write it log x plus 6 to the 3 half power. But look, these two quantities are dividing. This is a quotient. So I'm going to have to connect them by a minus sign. And what follows is minus log x to the 1 half power. Now, we're almost done. All we need to do is bring these exponents, 3 over 2 and 5 over 2, in front. Okay, all right, hold on. Let me draw those lines here. Okay, and let us write our final answer. Okay, so we will have 3 over 2 times log x plus 6. And log x plus 6 cannot be simplified or separated any further because this x plus 6, not x times 6. Remember, when the argument is a product, we can separate, but when argument is a sum, we can't go any further. So you stop right there for this piece. Minus, um, that exponent of 5 over 2 came down, so we have 5 over 2 log x. And that's all you can do for this problem. And I think, you know, some people will get tricked and think that they should sub uh, so separate this x plus 6, but no, when argument is a sum, you have to stop there. When it was, say that when you have log base 6x, then you can separate this uh, log of 6x, then you can separate it as log 6 plus log x, but this is adding, you see? Because that's adding, we cannot separate those two out. So that was just that one point that I wanted to make. And let me go and see another example of type 3, okay? Um, woo. All right, so let's see. So the big picture is there is x to the fifth power on top. And there is square root of this expression in the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite. The top will just wait for a second, okay? Top is just fine, x to the fifth power. But what I will do to the denominator is instead of writing it as a square uh, or square root, I'll say this is getting raised to the what power? One half power. Okay, because taking a square root of a number, okay, because taking a square root of a number is the same as raising that number to the uh, half power, okay? So another, you know, repeated information that I want you to know, uh, we can rewrite square root as something raised to the one-half power. Now what we can do, I can multiply this 3 
and this one half. Okay, I can multiply that three and one half. And what I am using in this lesson is a lot of properties of exponents. So that's from algebra one. Okay, it's been a, if, if it was if it has been a long time since you reviewed properties of exponents, um, um, maybe we should uh, search for some resources online. Um, but when you are taking a power of a power, you multiply these two exponents. So that's why I'm going to say down here, this expression turns into log x raised to the fifth power over x plus 6. And guess what the new exponent is? 3 half. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the top and bottom. So we'll get log x to the fifth minus, because this is a quotient, it's top divided by bottom, so they're going to be connected by a minus sign. And I'll have log base 10 on x plus 6 raised to 3 half power. As you can see, the only thing that we have to do now is to bring these exponents down in front, and we will have our final answer, okay? So what's the final answer? It will be 5 log x minus 3 half log x plus 6, okay? So this week, you may have to review some properties of exponents um, to simplify, uh, but the basic properties of log that we actually learned this week are very simple. The product, the quotient, and the power property, but what could make the lesson, uh, the, the homework problems difficult is that you may have learned these properties of exponents long time ago and you may have to go back and review those. But um, that's it and you know what, I will come back and record another video on writing an expression as a single logarithm um, soon in another video.